Hi everyone, welcome to our lesson. In this lesson, we are going to study about Form 1, Chapter 1, Introduction to the Physics. In this lesson, first of all, we are going to define meaning of physics. What is physics? Secondly, we are going to study about the branch of physics. Then, relationship between the physics and other subjects and technology. Then, career opportunities in physics. What are the career opportunities in physics in future? Basic labs rules. Then, first aid measures. We are going to study in this chapter. So, let's start with the, some information to give you about the branches of science. You know, one of the subjects offered in primary school is science. At secondary schools, level and beyond, this subject is split in three main areas. So, in the primary schools, we study about uh, just science. So, but when we come to the secondary school, science is divided into three subjects. So, one is physics, and the second one is biology, and the third one is chemistry. So, here we are going to study about physics. So, let's see what is meaning of physics. What is meaning of physics? Physics is defined as the study of the matter and its relation to energy. So, here we study about the matter. For example, we have an object. So, if object has an energy, so object is moving so if it doesn't have energy so let's say object doesn't move so we are going to study about the relationship between the energy and matter so physics explains the how and why behind the some events around us happening so for example falling falling of bodies towards the ground so, for example, if you drop an object from a certain height, let's say you have a pen or the, uh, such objects, you drop it from a certain height, it's, uh, you, you see itself, it is falling down. It moves towards the ground. Why? So, the second one is daily occurrence of tides in the sea. So, when we go to the sea, you see there are tides of sea isn't it so there are tides of sea the waves are occurrence in the sea so why it is happening so next one we can say that rising of a liquid through the drinking sutra so when you put any sutra in the water you will see that the level of water in the sutra is different than level of water in the beaker isn't it so this all what is happening falling of the objects sutra liquid liquid increase in the sutra and the tide happens in the water or in the sea and for example cracking sounds produced when we are removing cloth so if especially this in the darkness when you see that when you remove the, your clothes when the of you, you you when we change our clothes so we see the some uh, sound cracking sounds are produced over you can see some sparks isn't it so and many rapid technological developments in communication transport medicine and among other disciplines so you see these all events around us we can explain by the physics why and how it is happening they are happening Okay, but so physics is defined as the study of matter and its relation to energy. So the next one is branches of physics. Branches of physics. What are the branches of physics? Of course, there are so many branches of physics in the our books. We have some of them. For first of all, let's say first one is mechanics. Mechanic mechanics is the branch of physics deals 
deals uh, with the motion of bodies under the influence of forces for example linear motion circular motion okay so these all types of motion are uh, are under the influence of forces so we are going to study about this for example we have a ball so we kick the ball and how ball is moving isn't it so when we are going to study about the motion of body under the influence of force so then this is called what mechanics so the second one is electricity and magnetism electricity and magnetism deals with the relationship between the electric current and magnetic fields and their extensive applications for example electric motors magnetic relays telephone receivers so boys and uh, girls you see here uh, dear students you see here we have an electric current and we can produce that is by the electric current we have produced and magnetic field around the solenoid so here what we have we have a magnet and by the magnet we can produce the electric current and bulb is lighting so what we study study of this how electricity is produced by the magnetism or how magnetic field is produced by electric current so this all we study in electricity and magnetism so the next one is thermodynamics this is the study of the transformation of heat and from other forms of energy so here we study about what how heat is transferred so let's say we have two object one is hot object and one is cold object so the heat energy flows from hot object to the cold object for example at the beginning if you keep your hand here if you keep the object so you feel that the, it's very cold or cold so after a few times you will see that this object is also going to be hot why because heat is transferred heat flows from hot object to the cold object so the how heat is transferred from the sun to the earth from hot object to the earth in the liquid in the gases in the solids so we are going to study about what and uh, this all uh, transformation of heat in the thermodynamics so next branches of physics is geometrical optics this deals with the behavior of light as it transfers various media is studied for example telescope and microscope so for example you, how you can see the uh, let's say a pen or pencil so the sunlight is coming to the pen then reflect it from pen and come to the our eye then we can see the object so how it happens how the light is transferred how the light uh, transferred in the different medium what is the reflection so we are going to study in the geometrical optics by using telescopes and microscope so next one is waves it deals with the propagation of energy through space effect of such as reflection ref refraction and diffraction of the light and sound so here what we are going to study light how light is transferred you see here the light is coming to the prism so it is divided into different colors so the how light is how is the propagation of the energy how is the propagation of the sound how the propagation of the light so we study in the waves so next branch of physics is atomic physics this involves the study of study of behavior of particles behavior of particles nucleus or energy changes you see radioactivity nuclear fusion and fusion these are the brand the topics which we study in atomic physics you see here we have objects so there is this all we study in atomic physics also in atomic physics we study about the behaviors of the particles 
Okay, boys. So our next topic is relationship between the physics and other subjects and technology. So what is the relation between the physics and mathematics? So physics relates strongly to the ma mathematics. Many concepts in physics are expressed in mathematics. So for example, in the physics we define speed. What is speed? Speed is distance covered in time. Isn't it? Speed is distance covered in time. So this definition of physics I can I can express in mathematics. By mathematics I can write. So what I can do? Time is equal to distance over uh, or we can say speed is equal to distance over time. Isn't it? So from this equation we can write time is equal to distance over speed and distance is equal to speed multiplied by time. So you see speed definition we can express in by the using mathematic equations. Okay? So there are so many, so many, so many definitions, theories and the laws we can express by in mathematics by uh, equations. So physics and biology knowledge of lenses has helped in the making of microscope which has assisted in the study of the cells so you see we have cell these are the cells you see the these are cells and very happy cells you see all are smiling yes so maybe coronavirus these are so you see that uh, here we have the cells and by the help of the microscope we can see the these cells and this cells is made up, uh, these microscopes are made up with the help of the physics. Okay? So the next one is physics and chemistry. Physics has helped in explaining force within the atoms and therefore atomic structure. So by the help of the physics, the forces in the physics, we can explain the uh forces between the atoms between the molecules between the protons and neutrons so you see here what we have we see positive and negative proton and neutrons they are attracting each other not uh, sorry prot uh, proton and electron they they are attracting each other and electron electron repel each other and proton proton attracts each other so you see what this attraction and this uh, repulsion we can explain by the physics okay next one is physics and technology in the field of medicine x-rays body scanners and lasers are applications of the physics used in diagnosis and treatment of the disease so you see this is x-ray and by help of the you see for the uh, treatment for example you play football and uh, you have injured your hand so you have a lot of pain but you don't know where is the problem which part is the image so by the lasers you can get what image of your hand on the screen so this is also this x-ray is working according to some physical law physical rules so next one is physics and biology establishment of weather patterns release relies on the occurring uses of instruments like the thermometer wind vane and the hydro uh, hydro meet, uh, trans heat transfer so here you see that for example tomorrow we say we are deciding with our friends let's go on sunday to the picnic then we go and on the uh, by the using internet so you can just see yes weather is let's say nice so we can or rain so we should not go so you see these all weather condition we can uh, use by find by help of physical instruments okay so next one is uh, physics and history Carbon dieting applications of radioactivity serves as the crucial tool to historians 
in establishing fossil age and hence past pattern of life. So this is the relation between the physics. So by, by the physics we can find the age of the objects. You see, so this the, the here that are born. So the for example you find a very ob a object. It seems that very old, very old object. So you can find so for uh, some. Uh, fossil age test uh, so you can find what and the age of the object is it 100 years old 200 or 300 years old or more than that so this is how physics helps to uh, or relation between the physics and uh, is it so we have studied about the uh, meaning of physics what are the meaning is for physics then we have defined the branches of physics then we talk about the uh, relationship between the physics and the uh, other branch uh, uh, relationship between the physics and other branches then we talk about the uh, uh, first aid measurements also you can uh, ask me questions about the chapter so thank you by the sending an email thank you for watching us have a nice day thank you